anybody say what is IL? From the output side, can anybody say what is IL? What is IL? IL is the current flowing from top to bottom. That is the load current flowing. So what is IL from the diagram? What is IL? IL is flowing in this direction. GM VB dash is flowing in this direction. So I can write IL equal to minus GM into VB dash. Only one current I am having in the output side. But that current will be flowing in the anti-clockwise direction. But I am measuring current direction from top to bottom because always uh, we consider the output voltage to be like this plus above and minus below, right? So IL is minus GM into VB dash E. So I have found the expression for output current. Now input current. So you know the input current is given by the total input voltage is VB dash E. Because you know in voltage, in the parallel connection, voltage remains same. The input voltage is VB dash E divided by the current flowing through RB dash E parallel to minus J X E. This is the II. Okay. And RBB dash is very, very small. So I can neglect that. I am considering only R B dash E and this uh, resistance and capacitance in parallel. So see here, uh, V B dash E divided by R B dash E parallel to minus J X E. And uh, where X E is given by 1 by J omega into C B dash E plus C B dash C. So you uh, take, uh, you apply the resistance in parallel formula. R1 parallel to R2 is R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So I'm going to do that and you rearrange this equation. Okay. So when you rearrange, when you do that and rearrange this equation, you will get this. And I'm also going to assume F beta equal to this combination. So I'm wherever you have this term replaced by F beta. So 1 by 2 pi R B dash E into C B dash E plus C B dash E is F beta. So this F beta is uh, one uh, cutoff frequency which we will see it later. So wherever I have this 1 by uh, 2 pi into that term, I'm going to replace it by F beta. So I will get B B dash E by minus J R B dash E the whole square F beta by F divided by R B dash E minus J R B dash E F beta by F simplify everything so when you finally simplify this is the current gain you will be getting so j hfe f beta by f minus j f beta so i can bring this j to the denominator so hfe into f beta by minus of f beta plus jf so take f beta outside so this f beta and this f beta will get cancelled so minus hfe by 1 plus j f by f beta and very, very, one very, very important observations to be made here. The current gain is a negative. Current gain is negative. Minus HFE you are getting. So which says that the current gain in a common emitter configuration is out of phase by 180 degrees. So that is verified here because the current gain formula you get minus HFE by 1 plus J into F by F beta. The simplification you can do it wherever you have them, wherever you have this term 1 by uh, 2 pi R B dash E, I'm going to replace by F beta. So wherever you have that, you can replace it by F beta. And finally, we get the current uh, gain in terms of minus HFE by 1 plus J F by F beta. HFE is called as DC current gain. So DC means, you know, frequency is zero. So if you put F is equal to zero in this equation, you will get the current gain to be minus HFE, which is the DC current gain of your transistor. When F is equal to 0, AI will be equal to minus HFE. So this is going to be the DC current gain. That is also satisfied here. Yes, that is also satisfied here. So this is, you can see the current gain is a function of frequency. And F beta is called as beta cutoff frequency. So there is a special name for F beta. It is called as beta cutoff frequency. We will see why it is beta cutoff because it is in common emitter configuration. In common emitter, the current gain is written given by beta and this current gain expression also has this HFE or beta in the expression. So I'm going to denote this frequency F beta by beta cutoff frequency, which is specifically for common emitter configuration. It is specifically for common emitter configuration. And why this beta cutoff frequency is very, very important, we'll see the 